My name is Rebecca Williams. I am new to makeup for the most part. I've been recording some videos to record my progress, really. We are in my brand new makeup space, which was formerly my office pre-pandemic when I actually used to work in here. During and post-pandemic, well, we're not post-pandemic yet. During pandemic, including now, I picked up makeup as the thing that was gonna get me through. So now we're here. Now we're here with a room that is at least partially dedicated to makeup. I'm excited. I think that we're dry now. So we're gonna go in and start makeup. Yay! I wanna start with concealer on the eyes. Well, I've learned a lot of pro MUA tips from Robert Welsh, Michaela Noguera. Who else? Those are the two big ones. I listen, I watch, I learn, I try. I'm gonna do this first. I'm going to use this Hydra Sealer by Tarte. And so far so good. So far I'm happy with it. That's one of those products that I will try whatever out <laughs> to get rid of this. This whole thing is like a brand new setup for me. So I'm like looking at everything. It's exciting. Also, I'm keeping an eye on my dogs because they're a little further away from me now. So as you can see, I suffer from having dark under eye circles. I'm putting on more than other people probably would unless you have really dark under eye circles like I do. I don't know if I would call it hyperpigmentation. Really? Because it's not like the pigmentation on your cheeks that are pink or red. It's just straight up blue because the skin is so, so thin. So that's where I'm starting. That's better. It's been a thing for my whole life. Those under eyes, so blue. The skin is so thin. You can see, so you see that line right there? That is how different the thickness of my skin is between my under eye and my cheek. I don't know what to do about that. We're learning. We're learning. But at least the color is neutralized. I'm going to go in with a blur stick just to help out with minimizing the look of some of my pores, like where they're thickest, which thickest, well, largest. I have the largest pores on my nose and on the side, the inner part of my cheek and right there. That's what I want to minimize the look of and also mattify. This area here is also what's shiniest on me. I'm using my fingers, blend it in. Now that we've mattified our face, I'm gonna go in with I'm not doing concealer. I'm gonna take that pro tip. We are on day three of a challenge I created for myself. My Something's itchy on my face. It's probably dog hair because I've got a lot of dogs here. I created a challenge for myself to use Nomad Palette by Juvia's Place. I got this along with another palette a few days ago and I tried this first. I haven't even tried the other one yet. I'm excited, very excited because the colors are amazing. If I try this out, the color story is so beautiful. It's intimidating. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's had that problem. I guess it's not a problem. I think these colors are absolutely stunning. We've got this, someone called it gunpowder. Um, I guess it is gunpowder, but it, it's it's got a green, green tint to it. That really pretty sparkly yellow, lighter, more like dijon -y yellow. This shimmer that looks like wet asphalt. It is so blinding. This middle one is almost like it's just sparkles. It's just sparkles. This over here is a nice butterscotch. Below that we've got a shimmery neutral. This is pretty much the exact same color of my skin. When I put it on it just looks like just a little bit of shimmer as if I were from Twilight. This espresso bean brown and this which I've been calling like camel brown. I watched some other videos of people using this Nomad palette by Javius Place. Almost all of them call it pukey green. I will not be calling it that. It is a very pretty color. I'm not calling it pukey green. We're not doing that. This is day three. The first, and the reason what prompted me to do this week-long Nomad 
palette challenge is because the first look I did, I wasn't too crazy about, and I feel like I didn't do it justice. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do seven more looks. One's gonna be good. So the first day, technically, which is the second look, but I'm gonna call it the first look. Smoky eye with pops of yellow. It was blended out with the yellow, but that sparkly yellow was like right in the inner corner. It was like a bumblebee eye. I'm a fan. And this is that look. Yesterday, day two, I really wanna do a daytime look. Just this, like if you don't feel like wearing makeup, if you just wanna throw something on just really fast, I just wanna do like a daytime fall look. It would be good for summer too, cause it was mostly yellow. I did the sparkly yellow on the lid. Started out with camel brown in the crease, blended that out with this butterscotch color here, and then blended that out with the Dijon yellow here sparkly gold on the lid, super, super shimmer on the inner corners. Used the butterscotch on the lower lash line, blended that out with the Dijon. This is the look that I was talking about. Anyway, I thought today I would use that gunpowder green. And I found a photo on Instagram that is just stunning. She did a look for Natasha Denona today. And she was using that Trio Chrome palette, which I want so badly. She has, and I will, if I can figure out how to edit this, I will put a photo here. Watch it be on the other side. She did this like dark green, which is in the Trio Chrome palette um, with yellow and this like lilac-y kind of lavender purple. There's no purple in this palette, but I'm thinking about maybe instead of the purple using the orange. This is what I'm going to experiment with today. I don't know why this palette intimidates me so much. So I'm going over my entire lid with the Gerard Cosmetics. What is this called? It's an eyeshadow base. But it's an eyeshadow base in the color Fair, I believe. Clean base. I've been a fan because it really does just give you this clean canvas of an eye. I've also been using it under my eyes before I got this Hydro Sealer from Tarte. Also on the nose, it does a really great job mattifying and brightening. Brightening and mattifying. This pretty much dries like a powder. Sam, Sam, what is your last name? Sam Chapman. She's beautiful. Here we go. Oh, I'm so nervous. Eyeshadow tape that I have been wanting to use again so I can create some nice clean lines. And it looks like she used it. Either that or she is just good. Are they even? Fine, we're gonna go all over the lid with this light yellow. Yeah, we're just gonna go balls to the wall with this yellow. I quit smoking a year and a half ago. I don't have a single lighter in my house. I went to go get a lighter today for candles. I was like, I just give me like a little cheap lighter. I just need a lighter for candles. The guy was like, yellow, you want yellow? And I was like, sure, okay. And he was like, well, you, you look like you like yellow. I was wearing yellow makeup from this palette and a yellow sweater. And so he thought I would want a yellow lighter. He was right. <laughs> now I'm just gonna go straight in with this and hope for the best. Oh my god. I am nervous. Here we go. Put myself in the eye. Now it's time to be really brave. Ooh. Ooh, mm, kind of girl we are doing this. Interesting. And now, I'm gonna start with the brush and I dropped it. 
I'm gonna go on the brush. I'm gonna go on with the orange with this because I want a lot of pigment. And if it's not working, I'm gonna use my finger. I'm going in with this. I'm gonna go back in with that dark green gunpowder and clean up each of those lines. I could have sworn I had a precision, a precision, a precision brush. Well, everything's going off. Now I'm going to bring more orange into the corner. I'm now gonna blend this dark orange on the inner corner with this, oh gosh, this nude shimmer tone, this fair nude shimmer tone. I'm also going to use my finger to just make it a little more impactful. I'm going to now go back in and blend that lighter color with the orange. Now I'm going to, I think, I use that light shimmer shade again and go under the brows. Hope for the best. I'm gonna deviate from the photo a little bit. I think I'm going to really embrace the yellow. I think I'm gonna embrace that and go on with that sparkle because I just can't get enough of it. this one. I love that one. I want to use my finger because I want the most bang for my buck. Mm. Now that I've got this yellow on, I'm going to blend the dark green. I'm trying to think what else I want to do with this. Hmm. I'm going to put more of this gunpowder green underneath the lash lines, the top and the bottom. Then I think I'm going to go and lighten the inner corners up a little bit more with this crazy shimmer. Okay, now I'm gonna do my brow. Let's do it. As you can see, my brows are almost non-existent. I always feel like I look so evil when I start doing my brows. Which one's weird? This one? going on with these guys this is why you do your brows off camera it takes forever and it's boring also you do your brows and your eye makeup before your face fall out to clean these suckers up Ooh, I should take the tape off Ugh. ready Look at that. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna go in with my foundation and I'm gonna go to town. Uh, 
I'm gonna go in and clean up the brows. Something's not working. More cleanup. Brows are such a pain in the butt. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. I wish I'd make a bet on how many times I have to clean up my brows. I wonder what's going on here. Huh. Maybe I should look at this camera. No. It's the lighting. It's the lighting. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a pencil liner for the lash line on top, lash line at bottom, and the waterline. And if uh, if I need to, I probably need to blend it up, so. Stop blowing up. I used to pull my eye to get a good line. I'm not, I'm trying really hard not to do that because I'm in my 30s and I can't afford any more fine lines. If you know what I mean. This line keeps coming off. Okay. Can I just take a second and talk about how fun these straight ass lines are? How fun is that? The tape. This tape. I got it from Sephora. It was not very expensive. Game changer. with the powder again. I just want to blend this gun, gun, gun powder, gun metal, gun powder, gun metal, gun metal green with the eyeliner. Just a, a better blend, a better blend. I'm gonna go in with the blender brush again with the gun metal. I try to blend it a little more inward. Better. So I'm going to finish Oh my gosh, so itchy. I want to finish my face. Yes. I'm using this. It's so dirty and messy because I use it all the time. It's a pretty great contour palette. Dog hair. Can I just say I'm getting a lot better at contouring? It is not easy. Ah. Look how different I look. Different nose. It's a different nose. Blush. My milk. Now highlighter. I just say I have this cast iron tea set this little cup I've got like eight cups I don't need all eight it's perfect to hold my beauty blender adorable ow it's like something's living right here it's so itchy it's so itchy I can't see where is it coming from? Mm. I love this mascara. And so does my eyelid. Oh no. I have to fix one more thing. Thank you. But did you see how far up that went? Rodile. XXL. Baller. Look at those lashes. I don't want to use falsies. I really love her and those lips. I haven't thought about the lip yet. Hmm. Too dark. Hmm. Let's try this. Do you see this? Do you see that? That's what I was going for. Question for the crowd. Is there a way that you can push more out of this? It's not a pencil pencil, you can't sharpen it. And it's not mechanical. You can't twist anything or push anything. Is this it? 
Is this it? Look how long this thing is. And all that was in here was just this tiny little bit at the end. Ish, an ish lip line. I guess the colors kiss. It did come in my Fat Fit Fun box, so I don't know if this is just supposed to be a sample or if this is the way it is, but this is not okay. There's no way. How? How? How do you get more out of there? I'm gonna try using the other one with the right end. How would you tell which is the right end? No, they're both flat. I want that color. Okay, yeah, we're going with this one. The beauty crop. Well, took me less time to do that than my eyebrows. Girl. Ruby? Anyway. Can you like wait a second? I'm like almost done with this. Can you stop barking for like a minute? Santa? Okay. So. Santa? So this is the final look. Definitely different. The Nomad palette. Nothing else on my eye except for eyeliner. Inspired by Sam Chapman. She did a look with slightly different colors that I was inspired by. Sam Chapman for this look today using the Nomad palette. And that's what we got. This is this is my third look of seven for my week of Juvia's Place the Nomad palette. Thanks. Thank you for, for watching me do my makeup. I'll see you later. That was really cheesy. Bye. Thank you for joining me. I don't know. What am I supposed to say? I'll see you for the next look. Well, this is the final look, actually. Be sure to look for the next video for my fourth look of the Nomad Palette by Juvia's Place.